I was proud when we put down in our manifesto that we were going to ban fracking. But as the Industrial Strategy Secretary, I was also proud that as part of our industrial strategy, our first mission, our first goal in terms of rebuilding our economy was to make sure that we got 60% of our energy from renewable sources by 2030. And we set out exactly how we were going to do this. And it wasn't just because we wanted to leave a better world for our children, because morally that's what we have to do. But there's also an economic benefit to focusing on renewable technology and renewable energies. There's a global market worth over $600 billion. And we want to make sure that Britain has its fair share of that, that we lead that market and that we rebuild our advanced manufacturing base here in Britain, in Ellesmere Port, in the North West, around something that makes our future better, but also creates high paid, high skilled jobs. Yay! So there were a number of things we talked about when we set out our renewable energy mission. We said that we were gonna create regional, publicly owned energy supply companies to rival the big six energy companies. What we wanted those to do in time was to start investing in energy generation, community energy generation, like they have in places like Denmark, in Germany, so that we have the potential of having towns like Ellesmere Port or even cities like Manchester and Liverpool becoming self-sustainable in terms of their renewable energy generation, because that is possible and we want it to be low cost, and we want people to have real democratic control over their energy infrastructure and generation. Now another important aspect to our policy was in relation to energy efficiency. I know a lot of people here have probably seen the film I, Daniel Blake, where the poor families having to heat their hands over a plant pot with a candle underneath it. Well, that's not a one-off event, unfortunately. I know, speaking to Justin and Mike and Chris Matheson, that this is happening all over their constituencies. It's happening every day in my constituency in Salford. And people are living on the edge. And it's not just because they can't afford to pay their bills. It's because their homes aren't adequate and they're not fit for purpose. So that's why we said that in the next Labour government we would insulate four million homes as an infrastructure priority. We would make sure that people on low incomes had access to that immediately and that those landlords and on people on higher incomes would have access to specific low cost loans and grants in order to do it. Because we have to bring our energy consumption down as well as making sure that we get it from renewable sources in the future. Now, I don't want to speak here all day because I could go on for hours about our industrial energy policy, but just to say that we're only here for a specified period of time on Earth. And I, the, one of the reasons that I became an MP, and I'm sure my colleagues did the same thing, is that because we wanted to look in the mirror and say to ourselves that, yeah, when we were here, we made our time count. We tried to leave a better world for our children and grandchildren. And I know you're all here today because you know that that better world is possible and you're going to be marching and handing out leaflets and making sure that this message is spread around because everybody wants the same thing. They want a bright, hopeful future. So thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for spreading the word. And together we can make sure that that better world gets here a lot quicker than we expected it to. Thanks very much. Great. Thanks, thanks very much, Rebecca.